a Calicanzaros appears. It laughs and sows the seeds of fears. In every plight and every loss delights the Calicanzaros. It comes from deep within the earth where dancing in infernal mirth their wicked revelry enjoy the host of Calicanzaroi. The roots of that forbidden tree which guards the world from sorcery the wicked Calicanzaroi attempt forever to destroy. They hope the ancient tree will fall to bring about the end of all in every loss and every plight, the Calicanzaroi delight. They crawl inside their hidden nest, where their intentions manifest, but find their saws and hammers cracked, and ancient roots to be intact, while all the Calicanzaroi their wicked revelry enjoy. Kelikanzeroi are mischievous goblins in Greek folklore who appear on Christmas Day and stay until the Epiphany, January the 6th. That's the 12 days of Christmas. The Kelikanzeroi come up to the world during this period every year because Christ had not yet been baptised, so the belief goes, and therefore cannot protect humanity from evil. These little creatures are said to live under the crust of the earth all year round, soaring at the tree of life that holds up our planet and keeps it spinning, hoping to bring it crashing down. Every year during the holidays, however, these mischievous creatures come up to the earth and steal our sweets and terrorise us. They're not the smartest goblins and can only count to two. They prefer the night and are afraid of the sun. These goblins sometimes sneak into the house through the chimney, but you can keep them out with a burning fire. Calicanzaroi are small, mostly blind, with long black tails. They speak with a lisp and eat small creatures such as worms, snails and frogs. They only come out at night and are afraid of the sun, fire and holy water. Stories about the Kalikonzaros or its equivalents can typically be found in Greece, Bulgaria, Turkey, Serbia, Albania, Bosnia and Cyprus. The idea to do this film about the Kalikanzaroi comes from our wanting to link the folklore of different countries across Europe. So we work with 15 of them and all of them have some sort of folklorish tradition about supernatural beings, often wearing masks. So it's a good way of bringing people together to celebrate their own culture and heritage together and we've developed this into a actually into a big project called schism which is shared cultural heritage in secular masking so we do this now with about 15 countries and masks are the common denominator and the film is a great way of illustrating this fact and bringing more people into the interesting theme of keeping folklore alive. The Calicanza is part of Cyprus culture and it's important to preserve it. Here in Cyprus we work mainly with the villages of Katodris and Panolefkara 
like all villages in the whole of Europe, they have similar problems. Problems of young people migrating to the cities or even migrating to other countries and the breakdown of intergenerational learning. So children sat with grandma or granddad and learning about tradition, history, folklore. So in these two villages in the mountainous region of Larnica district, we want to bring alive again the Kalikanzaroi. And we want to do this through little projects, festivals, artwork, the making of masks. Already here, the schools, sometimes around Christmas time, have plays about the Kalikanzaroi. And when we've worked with little children, I've been quite surprised that they know something of the story, but they need updating. It also needs bringing into the 21st century and a new generation needs to put their own spin on the Kalikanzaroi. It's also shared with many other countries and this is also important in the, in the spirit of the European Union. Masks made from gourds, a sort of pumpkin, are a long tradition in, in Europe, especially in the Mediterranean region. So we decided to make our Kalikanzaroi masks out of gourds. We grow them here in the village. They dry out and we cut it in half lengthways. So each, each gourd gives us two masks. We cut out the eye holes and the mouths. We put ears on, we put teeth in. The teeth are actually the seeds of the gourds and they look so tooth-like that it gives it a, a rather menacing look. And then we paint them or we invite especially children to paint them and that allows them some of their personal expression. Kalikanzaroi in folklore are usually black so we like to have black masks, but we let the children experiment a bit with different colours. Remember that cultural heritage is not a dead thing, it has to be alive. And each new generation has to have the chance to add its own gloss to it and veneer and make it contemporary for them. Each person makes a unique mask, whether that person is an adult, or more specifically, or more often, a child. Many students and teachers come here to Cyprus, as many as 200 every year. They come here to learn something unique and they go away with new ideas, new skills. Many of the students are studying art, especially applied art, but also they might be studying archaeology or anthropology. The story of the Kalikanzaroi has some synergy with other countries. So people visiting here will be able to recognize some common factors. And those Kalikanzaroi, those winter goblins, are a little bit similar with trolls in Scandinavia or leprechauns in Ireland or elves and pixies and fairies. It's a rich tradition and of course it's been contemporized already by lots of authors and taking something from history and culture and somehow making it modern, more interesting, more up to date. <laughs> The custom of the Kalikanzaroi involves a complex set of activities. 
They used to paint a black cross on the door to keep the calicanzeroy out and also place a, a colander or a sieve on the doorstep. Other ways of keeping them out of the house was to throw lucanico, honey balls, or lucamadis, sausages, onto the roof. These things were done every year in the village. This is part of our rich European tradition. And why not bring it up to date, get more people involved, something from the past brought to life for the future. We say the future of the past. That's what we're trying to determine. <laughs>